Do you ever do that at a stoplight? Right Here we go. Ready? Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We are the Otana School Board. It is Monday. It's the 9th of January, 5.30. I'm going to call this meeting to order. Tonight is our organizational meeting where we would be uh, um, putting all of the, the usual things that we um, start our year with in place. And with that, um, Eric, our attendance tonight? Just uh, Elizabeth's gone for the night. We did know about that. Uh, let's all start with the uh, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under normal circumstances tonight, we would be welcoming our new board member, and we're going to wait. We'll do that at our next regularly scheduled meeting. But uh, up next would be to simply approve the agenda as presented. So moved. Second. Second. We have motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor with an aye? Aye. aye. Any opposed? That motion carries. First, we start off with the officers. And um, we will start with the office of the chairperson, Mark Sebring, which is me, currently holds the office of chairperson. Nominations will be taken for this position and an appointment made. We'll open the floor for nominations. I nominate Mark Sebring. As chairperson. Second. Are there any other nominations? Okay, hearing none. Um, Excuse me, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Yeah, there are three calls for nominations, so you have to recite that three, three times. Excuse me. Yep. Mm -hmm. any other members? You know, see, this is really interesting and it affords us a great opportunity because we talked about this a year ago and <laughs> once there were no more nominations. But it's three calls for nomination. Mm -hmm. after, after three, three calls. calls. If there's only one person so nominated, I've asked, then you don't have to So how many it. times have I asked? Twice? I asked twice. twice. All right. Yep. Are there any other nominations? Now I've, I've fulfilled my three. Mm -hmm. At this point, um, since only one person has been nominated, I will declare that Mark Sebring has been elected. I think we did it different before. <clears throat> We're going to move on to the office of the chair. Lori Weisenberger has held this office. <clears throat> Lori was our vice chair in 2022. I'm going to open the floor up for nominations. I nominate Lori Weisenberger for vice chairperson. Second. We have a motion and a second. Are there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Uh, with that, I will declare that Lori Weisenberger will fulfill uh, the Office of Vice Chair. The Office of the Clerk, is, Eric Schuster, has held that office in 2022. Uh, we will open the floor up for nominations for Office of Clerk. I nominate Eric Schuster for the Office of Clerk. I'll second that. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Hearing none, I'll declare that Eric Schuster shall become our clerk. And uh, Office of the Treasurer, um, yeah, the Treasurer, uh, Jolene Mose, has uh, served in the Office of Treasurer in 2022. I'll open the floor up for nominations. I nominate Jolene Mose for Treasurer. I'll second that. Are there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Hearing none, I'll declare Jolene Mose uh, to, to fulfill the role of Treasurer for us. And with that, we'll continue on. The next item would be Title I funding. The district is required each year to authorize a person to make an application. Board, committees. Board, committees. Board, committees. Board committees. Boy, I'm really on the struggle bus here, aren't I? Oh, I, I did. I passed right over that. Sorry about that. Okay, folks, I'm sorry. Uh, school okay. board committees. No the school board annually approves the school board committees at the organizational meeting, attaches the draft list of the committee assignments, uh, and I would be happy to answer any questions that you might have with regard to board assignments. Go ahead. Yeah, just a question. So I think this is true. Have you had a chance to visit with each of the board members about the assignments that you proposed? Or they've seen this, I guess, last week or... In other words, are folks good with their assignments? Uh, the, well, <laughs> unless we, yeah, I, to the extent that they're good with their assignments, <laughs> um, uh, I, I wouldn't, 
it's my understanding that that everyone is comfortable with the assignments. Fair enough. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll entertain a motion to approve the committees as presented. I move that the board approve the school board committees as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Now, Title I funding. District is required each year to authorize a person to make application and be the contact person for funds provided under Title I Public Law 103-382. The representative will ensure that the school district maintains compliance with the appropriate federal statutes, regulations, and state procedures currently in effect. It's recommended that Michelle Krell, Assistant Superintendent, serve in that capacity. We'll entertain a motion to that effect. I move the, go ahead. All right. I move that the board authorize Michelle Krell to make application and be the, the contact person for funds as provided under Title I Public Law 103-382 for 2023. Second. We have motion and a second. Any further discussion on this? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. The official newspaper, item C. Uh, district is required to designate a newspaper as the official newspaper to provide meeting notices, school board summaries, requests for bids, and other s official business of the school board. The Otana People's Press is the most frequently circulated newspaper in Otana, has been the official newspaper of the district for many years. Uh, we'll entertain a motion uh, for the official newspaper. I move that the board designate the Otana People's Press as the official newspaper for Otana Public Schools. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Um, time, place, and notification of meetings. District has historically held two board meetings per month. They've been starting at 5.30 on the second and fourth Monday of each month. The first meeting of the month has been a school board work session, and the second meeting of the month a regular business meeting. Any variation in the dates and times of meetings requires proper notification to the public. Meetings for the 2022-2023 school year are now in place based upon board approval of times and dates at its January 2022 organizational meeting. With this motion, the board authorizes the administration to establish a calendar of board meetings for the 2023-2024 school year in a manner similar to past practice. We'll entertain a motion. I move that the board authorize the administration to establish its meetings for the second and fourth Monday of each month at 5.30 p.m. in a manner similar to past practice and unless otherwise prohibited by law and that such meetings be held at a district designated space. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Legal counsel. The district has used a variety of firms to provide legal services. Each firm has been used by school administration for counsel on various matters. Dorsey and Whitney has been used on matters related to referendums. Ratwick, Rozak, and Maloney on matters related to personnel and special education. Counsel is used only by district level administration and only after receiving superintendent approval. Receiving periodic legal counsel is a means of ensuring the district is doing everything within its power to handle difficult matters in a fair and lawful manner. We'll entertain a motion uh, for legal counsel. I move that the board designate Dorsey and Whitney and Ratwick, Rose, Rozak and Maloney and others as needed as the official legal counsel for the district. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on this? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Item F tonight is designating depositories for school district, school district revenue. The district is required to designate its depositories for school district revenues. It is a good practice to periodically review the depository practices of the district to ensure the safekeeping of its assets and maximize its investment. Bremer Bank and PMA Financial Network Inc. are the district's designated depositories for revenues related to payroll, student <coughs> activity accounts, general accounts, and savings, and they have provided timely services to the district. We'll entertain a motion. I move that the board approve Bremer Bank and PMA Financial Network as depositories for monies necessary to meet payroll, activity account monies, and for school district revenue necessary to meet its general account savings and federal income tax withholding obligations. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? 
That motion carries. Item G is designating financial institutions for school district investments. The district has historically used a variety of institutions to oversee the proper investment of its assets. It is a good practice to periodically review the investment practices of the district to ensure the safekeeping of its assets while maximizing its investments. Below are the financial institutions the district has used and the board is asked to authorize. I'll read them. Wells Fargo Bank, NA, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo Investment Service, Inc., PMA Financial Network, Inc., and Bremer Bank will entertain a motion. I move that the board approve designating the financial institutions as listed to be authorized to invest district assets as requested and within all state and federal guidelines. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Item H tonight, authorizing persons to make transfers. The district is required to designate persons authorized to deposit and withdraw money on behalf of the district to the checking and investment accounts. I move that the board authorize the director of finance and operations, the controller or designee to deposit and withdraw money on behalf of the district to the checking and investment accounts. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion on this? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Item I is authorizing cosigners of checks and the use of the check signing machine. The district is required to designate cosigners of checks and the use of their signatures on its check signing machine. The cosigners will be the newly elected chair, clerk, and treasurer of the board. We'll entertain a motion. I move that the board designate the cosigners of district checks to be its chair, clerk, and treasurer, and for these signatures to be used on the district's check signing machine. Second. We have motion and a second. Discussion? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Uh, board annual allowance did make a change with this. For 2022, the board established an annual allowance of $3,500 per board member. The board added $600 to the allow annual allowance for the position of chair. I am recommending that the board consider an allowance of $3,600 per board member and an additional $600 for the position of chair for the year 2023. This annual allowance is dispersed over 24 pay periods. The, the rationale behind this was that's a roughly 3% increase, which is consistent with um, what all of the uh, groups uh, agreed to as we went through the most recent negotiations. There's the dis uh, description for that. Uh, one of you introduced this motion for us. I move that the board approve an annual allowance of $3,600 per board member to be dispersed over 24 pay periods and an additional $600 per year for the position of chair. Second. We have a motion and a second. I just go want ahead. to double check. Yeah, go ahead. 3% is that. Okay. Right? Yeah. Lori's running the math on this, and it's a titch over three percent. And most of our, most, under. right, most of most of our um, settlements were in the four percent range. So we are we're lower than what our. Mm -mm. We're only going up hundred. Oh, so thank you. Point eight, nine, thank you. Six, seven, blah, blah, blah. I saw six hundred. Yeah. No. Thank you. Yeah. Um, did we have a motion on that? Yeah, I read it. Yep, there was a motion. This was the discussion. The, oh, that's <laughs> the discussion. Thank you. Is there any, is there any other discussion? Happy New Year. Hearing none. All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Item seven tonight would be to adjourn. I so move. move to adjourn. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor with an aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. We are going to do this. It is.